apart from what I said earlier about systems chemistry and how we're looking at selection on molecular level, right? When you have a system of molecules that is that is better suited towards uh, replication and, en and energy production, it'll be selected for. So even though that system of molecules doesn't qualify as a living organism, we're still looking at selection on the molecular mm -hmm. level. It's just statistical dynamics, right? It, there, there's no, there's no like divide, right? The, the, the thing that, that we've been learning over the past 20 years is that there's yeah. no uh, non-life and life right, and just like right. a, a line right here it's actually there's a spectrum right a physical chemical continuum and it's 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 blurry we're not it's it, it, if we were to go back billions of years and watch the whole process we it would be pretty hard to go okay all right now it's alive that's that's not that easy to do. Right. We know that a that a, a couple of molecules is not life, and we know that a cell is life. But you know, when you look at the first thing that would have qualified as a protocell, it's not that easy to define. So you know, maybe later we'll have some challenges in terms of how we define life once if we get further with with uh, origin of life research. But um, yeah, systems chemistry that's that's the key.